Welcome to another Social Agent Today video blog post. Today we're going to talk about Pinterest. We'll go over the basics of this popular social media platform, like what is it, how to use it, and why to use it. So this is your Pinterest home feed. When you log into Pinterest, this is the first thing you see. Your feed has all the recent pins from the boards you're following. All these little boxes with photos in them, they're called pins. Pins are just like visual bookmarks of all the things you're interested in. You can pin recipes, home improvement ideas, or pictures of really cool houses. You can upload your own photos to make pins, or you can pin things that you find on the web or on Pinterest. Think of Pinterest as a visual corkboard that you can pin interesting articles or photos to. Joining and logging into Pinterest is very easy. You can go ahead and make a Pinterest account, or you can do what I did and just use your Facebook account to log into Pinterest. If you're already logged into Facebook, it will take you directly to Pinterest. If you're not logged into Facebook, you'll be prompted to enter your Facebook login information. Welcome to Pinterest. Let's explore. Next to the search bar, you can browse topics. Click a topic and see the recent relevant pins. Or you can type a topic into the search bar. I typed kitchen. You can see all the kitchen theme pins. If I see one I like, I can click the pin it button. Be organized and make board topics. I made one called Fantastic Kitchens. So any kitchen photos that I like, I'm going to pin to that specific board. I can go back anytime and look at my pins. Or other people can browse my pins. All right, now let's say I'm not on Pinterest right now, but I see something on some random website that I want to pin to my Pinterest board. It's easy. Lots of websites have incorporated the pin it button. Just look for the Pinterest logo or look for a button that says pin it. See the letter P on this photo? Click it. It's that easy to pin a photo. An even easier way to pin objects is to get the Pinterest browser button. A browser is the program that you use to surf the internet. The browser I use is Google Chrome. You just download the button or extension and the Pinterest logo will appear at the top of your browser. To download this button, you just need to search for Pinterest browser button, or you can click this link and I'll take you to that page. Now that you have the browser button installed, you can click it anytime you want to pin an object. Okay, now let's say I took some photos myself. There's some really nice shots of a renovated property, and I know people will like these photos. To upload them to Pinterest, look for the plus sign at the bottom of my home feed. Let's click upload a pin. Select the photos that are stored on your computer. You can also add pins or create a board directly from your profile. Just make sure that you're on the pin section and click add a pin. Pinterest is a really great way to connect with people. Plus, it's a lot of fun. Use it to stay in touch with your clients or use it to gain new clients. Well, thanks for joining us for another Social Agent Today video blog post.